Friends and fans of bodybuilding and fitness, this is Kanikos, my name is Katie, we're at Body Power and I am here with the myth, the legend, the wonder woman, Sophie Arberbrink. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good, I'm running around doing interviews and well, I have a few questions for you actually because I think everyone is wondering what are you doing when you're not doing pull-ups with 40 kilos on your lap in the gym? Well, it takes a lot of my time because I work out two times a day. But when I'm not working out, I just like, I like to have fun, you know? Go out with friends, party. Yeah. Sounds like a good balanced lifestyle. So party, friends and gym? I don't think like, like, because a lot of times like the sport gets too extreme and you're like, get to into it you know so you have to like balance it out I think and you live in Sweden right yeah Sweden is a good place to have fun I've been there a few times yeah so um, but you also like traveling a lot right you're doing like almost like all the expos with your sponsors is that stressful sometimes or is it fun well um, uh, both yeah I, I like to be in I like Stockholm like I love to be at home, but it's so much fun, like traveling around and like meet all these people. So, yeah. Well, it's it's a, it's a job, right? So, um, another thing that I'm like curious about is like, do you have a plan like to step like on stage and to compete? No. I want to, but. I think I'm um, I'm too lazy. I like food too much. <laughs> you are too lazy. I mean, like when I watch your workout videos on Instagram, I say like, oh, you you're killing it like all the time, and you're telling me like you're too lazy to. <laughs> I don't believe that. Not not when it comes to the gym, but like when it comes to food, like I don't think I can do the diet and okay. like. Well, I I could I could do it, but I don't think it's worth it, and I don't think it's like healthy for the body. And like that's what I'm all about, like the balance and like being healthy. So for me, like I re I respect people that do it, like it's awesome, but not for me. Fair enough. I totally understand that everyone needs to compete. Um, but talking about diet, you just like said like no, I would be too lazy for the diet. So, but what do you eat? I mean, like you need to eat good foods to actually grow muscles, to be strong, and to kill all the workouts that you like doing when you're saying you're training twice a week. So how does like a day of eating look like well um, I do intermittent fasting if you know what that is so I only eat like two times a day because I'm saving time so I eat like big meals I don't I don't eat any dairy or any like bread or gluten or stuff like that because like I just feel bad when I eat it you know I like I try like my diet's all like I've been like trying different stuff for a couple of years and like you just kind of find like what works for you like you can't just read someone's diet plan like to know you have to what did you eat last night to make it easier what was like your big meal last night or like two big meals that you had last night i had two burgers <laughs> these are your two meals two burgers yeah. any sides uh fries sounds like a good diet i usually don't eat that but so what, what would you usually eat? So if you would be like home in Sweden, um, what would be like a typical meal that you eat? Oh. Like a lot of fish. Because I don't eat a lot of meat anymore. It's like, I think it's too heavy. Uh, so a lot of fish, a lot of vegetables. Some like rice maybe, a lot of fruit. Yeah. What is your favorite sweet treat? Like, do you eat any sweets like chocolate or ice cream? Is there something that you're like craving that you really, really love? Yeah, I have a really bad sweet tooth. So it's like a lot of chocolate, I would say. Ice cream too, yeah. I could only do that. Chocolate and ice cream is the best. Let's talk a bit about social media. So your social media is huge. I feel like, like you're inspiring so many women out there with your workouts and being like powerful and like, not being scared to have muscles and to actually like, kill it in the gym. Um, so you're actually a huge inspiration for me to keep going all the time. <laughs> yeah, you are. 
Um, so my question would be like, how do you handle this whole social media thing? I mean, like you probably get a lot of DMs, like probably a lot of DMs from women who are um, just like inspired and love what you do. But then also the guys, I would like to know what's like the creepiest DM request that you're getting on social media. I mean, from all this. Like we have the classic one where like people want to buy my socks. Yeah, that's really common, I think. Yeah. And people that want to wrestle me. But then it's like, I don't like, I don't have time to reply to all my DMs. So like sometimes you get like DMs from some people. They're like, hey, how are you? Or like, do you want to be my friend? And then I don't reply because maybe like I don't have time to reply to all of them. And then like one day later, we're like, fuck you, you fucking suck. I hate you. So, that is so interesting that people like first they they are nice and when you're not getting back to them then they're like getting really annoyed but I can un understand like you, when you get like a lot of DMs you just can't get back to everyone and uh, you can't make everyone happy with that but how do you deal with that pressure that you always like because I know you and you're like a nice person so you always like want to like reply to people so how, how, how do you like handle that and kind of um, not freaking out about social media because you get so much feedback from people. Uh, is, it, is it like sometimes you just like, okay, I just shut off this phone, I just like throw it away, I just like, I don't want to have anything to do with that, but then you're like feeling bad and going back and trying to get back to people? No, I can't do that because like it will like, like ruin you. So you just have like, just have like post your stuff and then put the phone down and like, because you don't want to get caught up in social media like you want to you want to post and then you want to live your life because if you don't do that you, like who are you going to be you know maybe another thing about the the workout so how old are you now 26 you're 26 and when did you start going to the gym uh when i was 18 so like eight years of like bodybuilding basically when did you get serious like right away or like did it take some time to decide like okay now I'm like really putting it in? For me it's like all in or nothing. So like the first day I just I went there and um, I was hooked. I was like I was I spent like three hours a day in the gym, like from the first day. So all in or nothing. <laughs> so first day in the gym when you were eighteen and you spent three to four hours there and never left basically and now you're training twice a week uh, twice a day six times a week it's just a life yeah that's amazing that's inspiring so this is how much work some people put in um, I don't want to keep you any longer because I know you're busy at the expo a lot of people here to meet you but thank you so much for your time and um, I can't wait for our next interview hopefully later this year and thank you guys so much for watching bye